I was driving down the old M4, doing the ton or maybe more. Come to a sign said Bristol Town, thought I'd better slow it down. I was aquaplaning. Developing transverse thrust and my epipsychic overdrive torque condenser units. And my horse was knackered. <laughs> Well, I stopped outside the nearest pub, sign outside said Falking Club. There was a load of scruff bums round the door like a fashion parade for a surplus store. <laughs> Big notice outside said, special tonight, Zelda will perform the dance of the said army blankets. <laughs> special cabaret, Lady Mimi and her performing dogs and her bucket of water. <laughs> Well, it was so dim and smoky there, I went up perler down the stairs. Bloke said, Mr. Step then, son? I said, no, I hit every bloody one. <laughs> I went in the room at the top of the stairs. There was lots of spaced out cats in there. They was laying it down and freaking it out. I said to one, man, what's this all about? He said, we ain't protesting, baby. Kill the warmongers. Smash violence! <laughs> Meet your Saturday man, we're having a peace riot! Yeah, wow! <laughs> then a bloke called Stefan Dillivan born played an epic about the hang ups he'd known. He played his guitar in a very strange way, every string was tuned to A. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> When he finished, there was thunderous applause. I thought, blimey, that's rare. I looked round, everybody was slapping their faces to stay awake. <laughs> His guitar was Japanese, I'll wager, with overdrive in E-flat major. Fuel-injected racing pegs in an all for slicing our boiled eggs. <laughs> Nice to see a guitar with a really natural finish. I mean, I expect the knot holes were useful for all sorts of things. And the maker was very proud of his handiwork because he'd stenciled his name all the way across the front. I'd never seen a Jaffa before. <laughs> well, up come the next bloke lurching a bit with a funny little badge like a psychedelic tit. He said, I sing me songs quite free of restrictions like lyrics, time and key, and interest. <laughs> he said, I learnt all me songs from me old dad, and my daddy taught me one thing, he said, lad, he said, always know when you've had enough to drink, and I do. I spill all over the microphone, I <laughs> got <laughs> Newcastle Brown Ale, I love you, that. Well, at the 40th verse I looked about, it was so crowded I couldn't get out. Bloke behind give a plaintive moan. He said, I died just now, but I can't fall down. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, back at the bar, there was plenty of action from the public speaking in rhythm section. The in crowd was cutting loose with a mass unaccompanied talking blues. <laughs> There was the barman doing his bit for culture. Should have heard how he accompanied Island Ferry Lullaby on smoky bacon maracas and an E-flat cash register. God, <laughs> Then I seen this groupie standing there, all bosom bum and long blonde hair, in a backless topless boiler suit and I heeled off nailed army boots. <laughs> He said, what are you drinking, kiddo? She said, something long and cool, man. I said, beer or scrumpy? She said, cider. Cider. The distillation of the forbidden fruit of paradise. Full of the true, the blushful hippocrine. With beaded bubble winking at the brim and purple stained mouth. Cider loosens my libido transports me into realms of ethereal delights and blows my cosmic mind, yeah, wow, too much. I said, bloody hell. 
I said, how'd you write beer then? <laughs> He said, oh, beer's a drag, man. Makes me fart. <laughs> now, said the bloke, our stars tonight, still port Campbell pigs on white. Up they ponced all silk and lace and sequins flashing all over the place. And the girls looked quite nice as well. <laughs> I looked at the bloke, I thought, that's it, baby, that's it. Get yourself a Tom Jones shirt like that. A pair of falsetto trousers and you're in, man, you're in. <laughs> so I thought I'd join this folksy cleat, got some gear at Butch Boutique. Asked for a t-shirt off the peg and the fella measured me inside leg. Nice fella. Rather keen, I thought. <laughs> Name of Julian. I thought he was a bit funny till I met his brother Mary. I bought a record called Learn Yourself Fault by some smooth-talking character called Freud Wetleg or something. <laughs> Cut out all the rude words and worked hard on the quarter that was left. Played it to an agent. He got me a book in. In Salisbury. Rhodesia. <laughs> Touring with the black and white minstrel show. <laughs> this folk music may be rubbish, but by jingo, it's British rubbish! <laughs>